Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to add a ruler to your leaflet web map to show bearing and other units of measurement. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get started. So if you bring up a browser and you type in leaflet ruler, the first result should be this link right here, and I'll include the link in the description down below. So from this GitHub page, we want to give credit to the author here, and we just go over to the green code button and we download the zip file. And in our downloads file, we simply extract that. Okay, and what I'm going to do is actually copy this extracted folder and put it into my project folder where I have my HTML. So I'll go and paste that. I already have my HTML open right here. It's just a simple map. And if I just run that, sorry, I have two screens. It keeps defaulting over there. It's just a simple web map. And I'll leave a link in the description down below about a, a demo video I did about creating a simple web map such as that. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is add, actually, let's open up that extracted folder. We want to add the CSS right here. So we could do is in the head, say link, style sheet, and copy this format here, href. And we're just going to simply right click and copy relative path. Oops, I actually like opened the file. But what I simply did again was just right click here and copy the relative path. And we'll paste it between the double quotes. Okay, and we just want to close this off. Good. And the second thing we want to do is add the script right here this leaflet ruler.js. Oops. So if we do script source equals, and then again, I'm just going to right click and copy the relative path, paste it right between the double quotes. Sorry, and we're going to close this off here. Good. So what we're going to do is come down here to the body. And we'll call this our ruler. So our options equals brackets and the put position. This is the position of the actual icon, the ruler icon. And right now, we'll just call it uh, top right. And we'll come back to this because we could simply change that. Um, and we're going to do the length unit. And then right now, we're going to do um, nautical miles, but we'll change that as well. This is just to set everything up. So we'll say factor, and this is what you're going to be either dividing by or, um, you know, to convert your units of measurement. And this is going to be, because right now it's, it's defaulted to kilometers, and I'm just going to just do a couple variations here from kilometers to nautical miles. Okay, and display. This is going to be what, after the value, what we want it to be displayed. So I'll say NM for nautical miles. Decimal. This is just how many decimals we want on the value that's being displayed. Okay, and then finally we'll say L.control.ruler. 
options. So we could pull in the options we have up, uh, uh, up above. Uh, add to map. Okay. So again, we're pulling these options right here. And this is our main call right here, L control ruler, adding that to map. Again, we have the source code for the JavaScript and we have the style sheet for the ruler as well. So let's go and save this. Run. And here is the icon. Now if we click onto that and we left click once, we can see that we have bearing. And as I move around, you can see the bearing changes and the nautical miles change. If I left click again, I add a point, point. To stop, I can either double click or what I did, I hit escape. There's a couple ways to clear it. So if I do it again, left click, left click, and say if I want to stop right here, I could just hit escape. And that was the last click I made. Or we could simply hit the, the ruler icon. Now, okay, we could change that by saying top left. Maybe you want to have just kilometers. Okay, save that. And I refresh my map. You see the icon moved over to the top left. If I click onto it. Now my unit of measurement is in kilometers. There you go. So if we go back, finally, if we go back to the GitHub page, you can see that down below, if we scroll down, this is an example of the ruler. Here is the style sheet I added, the script. This is to add the ruler. And these are some more options you could do. So you could change the color, the dash array, um, you know, you could just change a couple of the, the angles and the length of unit. So you could definitely play around with that. But this is just to get you started. Again, I'll leave a link down in the description below for this GitHub page. As always, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.